So the next thing that it recommends that we do is check out the driver managers. So it says check the driver manager to see if it recommends any additional drivers for your computer. It says most hardware components are recognized by the Linux kernel and work automatically without the need to install drivers. Some, however, require proprietary drivers to be recognized or to work better. Um, so the we'll go ahead and get hit launch here for this one. Uh, and here again, like I said, you'll see this pretty frequently. <laughs> Once again, it wants to authenticate, so you just put in your, um, you know, your login password. Because again, here we are changing, you know, significant system settings. So, um, go ahead and type in your password again and hit authenticate when you're ready. And now it says looking for hardware drivers. Um, so most of the time where I end up needing these personally is with video card drivers. Um, but there could be some other things in some cases like, uh, you know, your Wi-Fi, if you have a, you know, adapter or sometimes Bluetooth, stuff like that. Um, uh, but generally it will find whatever is available and see, okay, yeah. So here we are, are again. So. Uh, so I have a uh, GeForce GTX 960 uh, graphics card on my computer and then it's showing you options so uh, so the one that's uh, installed by default is this open source driver here um, so it's the X server Xorg you know video driver um, so it will obviously it's working you can see stuff on the screen right now that means your graphics driver is working whatever one you have installed however uh, in the case of Nvidia stuff um, for their drivers you can see it says recommended is up here um, their proprietary drivers this so this driver here that's going on with this um, even though it's not open source even though it's you know uh, proprietary to you know Nvidia uh, generally they will perform better um, than the, the you know the open source drivers because they're specifically made you know for that you know for that device so um, so here it's just recommending, you know, hey, you, you know, we've got these older ones here, which you can tell because the number is lower, um, but we recommend this one. And then so uh, if you would like to use it, you can. Otherwise, you can just leave it at the, if you prefer the open source drivers. Um, and you can always access this at a future date, this driver manager as well. If you end up, say, like, for example, if this driver, if I, okay, I'm going to change the recommended driver by just clicking the dot here. Uh, and maybe you had some kind of problems with that driver, like it didn't work that well, or um, you know, or there was some glitches or something, or like maybe you would want to use this driver instead because this one isn't working right, or you know that sort of thing. You can always come back in and uh, change it, you know, at any time, or you go back to the open source driver if you say, hey, I'm good with just open source stuff. Let me just stick to that, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, and I also have one here for my particular system, Broadcom Inc. Broadcom Inc. Uh, so it's a wireless network adapter. So my Wi-Fi adapter that I have, there is a specific uh, driver for that. There is a you know a driver specifically for that as well. Or I have the option to say do not use this device. So, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that checked. And it says one proprietary driver in use, so it's already been using this one. Um, and then I'm going to tell it to switch to this uh, recommended driver for the video card and then you just go ahead and hit reply, apply changes and then that'll be that for the driver manager stuff it'll probably take a little bit here now as it's finishing up uh, installing here one other thing to note is that uh, in the case of uh, graphics card drivers or video card drivers whatever you want to call them uh, you may occasionally want to open the driver manager uh, periodically and check for newer versions of your graphics driver because um, as you can see here there's some older versions so what will happen is you'll have this one installed for example it's a recommended one right now but you know a couple months down the road uh, there will probably be even newer versions than that and then yours will no longer be the recommended one that you're using and it will say you know whatever the new number is for the next uh, you know version of the driver they'll recommend you get the newest one so um, and that's one thing that you may want to just periodically check for as you're thinking about it. Um, and, you know, uh, even if you forget, it's still okay. But 
um, you know, just one of those things just to note that you can come back into the driver manager and check periodically for uh, new drivers for your for your video card. All right, so when it's finally finished uh, with the playing all the changes for the drivers and everything, uh, in the case of the, you know, video card graphics driver, you'll see this message there at the bottom that says you need to restart the computer to complete the driver changes. So, um, and that's pretty common even on Windows or whatever, just because of the, um, the you know, the significance of the update. So, um, so you could either hit restart right here, or but uh, for now, I'm just going to just minimize that and keep it out of the way, and I'll take care of that in a minute. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn even more, you can find my books at bookstoread.com slash Jonathan. That's books, the number two, read.com slash J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N.